All right, I think I'm back. <laughs> I would think, uh... Oh, nope, maybe? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're stable. I haven't dropped any frames yet. All right. I hate when this happens. There's just like nothing I can do about it. Till. All right, all right, all right. So, in case you didn't see, two of the gen player. Um, they played Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies, him, and then uh, a Goif, and then a Plague Engineer. Our Muxus. They bolted our Muxus, and then abruptly hit the pile driver, but we had. Warchief, Warchief, Warchief Ringleader. They attacked with Goif and Engineer. I tried to double block the Engineer. They drew Bolt, but if I didn't block, then I would have um, died to the Bolt to face. And if you're going to single block, you should probably double block, I think. And we drew Matron and killed them by experting the... Uh, Slay or experting the engineer and then play like you swing for five then uh put in slinging. game. So all in all, went good. Went pretty good. Opponent last seen on Omnitel. His hand is bad. Omnitel with Ragavan. Oh, wow, this is a weird ass deck. Right, so this is like fast Omnitel. Mm. We go to five. Crocus is like okay, but all right. I'm gonna hope to draw Lackey. I guess if they have Ragavan, we can just bounce it, but... Right. No Shuffle, War Marshal. Kinda need to get something going. All right, what do you got? Oh, just Emrakul. You're dead. Nice. Aha! <laughs> Turn to show and tell. <laughs> yeah. Nice fucking try. <laughs> All right, so do I want Needle against their list? Did you bot pull and wait? I only have one Grizzlebrand. I do not want Needle. Okay. Do I want Chalice? Petals. Zero Petals. I guess Ragavan is their Petal. Okay. 
Chow Sun 1, not that good. All right, so we'll just do this then. Got the Fury. Trim some ringleaders. Trim an expert. Let's cut all the ringleaders actually. Leaving the fanatic for Ragavan. I kind of wish I could leave a ringleader in the deck. Oh, it's double blast, but no action. Or no, no red mana either, obviously. Uh, we do have an answer to Emrakul, but this is definitely a trap kind of hand. Kind of tempted to keep this because it is an answer to Ragavan and Port Matron's good. I'm actually gonna do this and ditch the pile driver. Okay. Bottom, bottom. All right. Sun Gang's not bad. Play our Prospector. It's, okay, I thought that might get dazed. All right. We do want to get um, Matron in play as soon as we can. Because once the Matron gets Muxus in, then we can brainstorm and step. Yeah, it makes sense to wait until I port you. Interesting. Okay. No shuffle. Okay. Second sling gang's actually quite bad. Mm, so we do do we bet on no land for show and tell, or do we play matron? Just assume they're going to show and tell. And then put in Moxus. We have a double port, so like... I could sack Prospector to double port this turn. Which wouldn't be insane. Ooh, it worked. Cavern's good. I think I just want to keep doing this until they stop letting me do it. They're also at 13, so... It's just mono blue? Hmm, no shuffle, but no land. Lackey is actually the perfect draw. Because now we really make them have it.
Maybe they drew Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Nine. Put them to three. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna do this so they can't draw with Crystal Brand. Okay, none of those do anything. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Mog Fanatic saved us. The Mock Fanatic saved us. Dealt like five damage. <laughs> All right. All right. Clean 4 0. Let's see if we can get the. Yeah, Mog Fantastic. That's right. Let's see if we can get the 5 0. Two Omings Omnitel feels pretty fucking good, gotta say. Gotta say. Be kind of crazy if we five would again. Be back to back five O's twice in like two weeks. It's a matchup I want to see the most. Not sure. All right, reasonable hand. Uh, a little bad the file gets dealt with, but. If we draw a land, it's still pretty good. Opponent's also 4 0. Okay, Vile resolves. Big game. A pause scared me. I go against the blue deck, against the Delver deck. All right, now, now, now I feel great. Uh Ah I think I expert. It does kind of suck if they have days, but if they daze, they're less likely. They can't like brainstorm to flip through Delver. Nice. Also plays around Stifle and Bolt. Okay.
So we've checked them for a days now. So I might run out the Swore Chief if I draw a land. Shuffle. Monkey. Channeler. I'm actually happier it's that. So we get to kill that on curve. Booster Dragon. Fix the follow. All right, let's get rid of that now. No surveil for you. We do show them we don't have a land, but. Wasteland here would suck. I mean, it's not really that bad. Iteration, sure. So at this point, we just want beatdowns. Um, I mean, basically all of our draws are good at this point, except for like... Or like another war, the third war chief, but everything else is good. Island, okay, that's not a wasteland. Okay, so, right, so, the, so the iteration drew one. Let's be efficient here. I'm going to double war chief. I don't really care if this gets dazed. Nice. Uh, and I don't really care about Ragavan either. Like if they dash Ragavan, that eats up their turn, and then they put their threat back in their hand. Sure. All right, so first we'll attempt nation for pile driver. Oh, I can also just matron for X for jump palm, and that gets around force of will. That's probably better. Opponent basically has no outs here. A double war chief term is really good. Nice. All right, got game one. Is this what we've been doing? The ringleader count is quite bad, but the deck becomes very lean. Triple War Chief's been really good. It's been really surprising me. Um, I could see an argument to keep in another War Chief over a ringleader, but like if you're as long as your ringleader draws one to two cards, it's pretty good in this matchup, and you kind of need the pitch cards for the Pyrokinesis. Um. Yeah, do this. Okay. Needs a black source. They mold a five. Feel pretty good about a mold of five.
Oh man. They bolt a five. I think we just wasteland them again. Like we did in that other game. I think it has a reasonably high chance of working. I think it's pretty unlikely that we get to go lackey, it resolves, then jump on this on the next turn. No land. Fuck. All right, we drew we drew a land. That's that's really good. Days. Hydra blast. Sure. Actually, totally fine with that. Milling iteration. Okay, the milling iteration tells me we don't have another land. I I think. Okay. Um, probably playing War Marshal here. It's a little tempting to play Expert. They milled a Daze? Okay. That's interesting. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to Cavern Expert. They milled a daze. I think they have a daze. I really want to get this all battlefield, and I can. Yeah. Brainstorm, sure. Now, a real question will be, do I play War, War Marshal in today's next turn? Presuming they wasteland me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> really, really good draw. Yeah, they're pretty screwed now. That's a good closer. Yeah, Shuffler was nice this match, I agree. Oh man. All right, now it's really over. Second, like this very particularly in case they have Brazen Borrower. Um, I will pay Echo here. Hits keep going. I don't think they have real draws from here. Since they hit the fetch land. They're at 11. Mm -hmm. 
So you're a bandit goblin? I'm going to test it. Okay, so this could be a braid. All right, it's a braid. So we'll matron for pile driver then. Okay. 5 0. Back to back. <laughs> this list is really good. This list is really, really good. So we beat Blura Delver. We dropped a single game. Blura Delver 2 1, Bant Miracles 2 0, Jund 2 0, Sneak or er, Omni, Omni Show, Seemingly Mono Blue, maybe Blue Red 2 0, Blura Delver 2 0. That's pretty fucking good. All right, we get our Twitter brags. The ultimate goal of all Magic Online uh, content is Twitter brags. Feels really good. Gotta say, I'm I'm optimistic about the the challenge this weekend. I'm 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 like basically a lock to play it. At this point, like things are going so well, I think I'd be foolish to not play it. All right, so it's Blura Delver, uh, Bant Miracles, Jund, Noble, uh, Omni Show, Delver. All right. Yeah, clout, clout acquired. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Magus. Um. So I was playing Blood Moon and a Magus for a bit, uh, and then I was like, "Well, I'm boarding in this Magus a lot more than I'm boarding in the Blood Moon, and the Blood Moon is only significantly better than the Magus in like a couple of matchups." Uh. Lands is definitely one of them, though like Force Vigor is a big deal. They at least need to pay mana to kill Magus, but obviously they're they're better at killing creatures um, than they are blowing up artifacts and enchantments. You know, they have three Force of Vigors and they have... Well, hold on. They have three Force of Vigors and they have three Punishing Fires. Max. Some mini lists only have two. So maybe it's actually just like the same. One of them's free... The yeah, other's not. So maybe Magus is actually more reliable than Blood Moon against lands. Plus you can file it in. Like getting to three actual mana against lands can be dicey. Maybe that's just true. But yeah, Blood, Blood Moon... So like... Magus, the fact that you can cavern it and vial it comes up in a certain matchups. So like, a Blood Moon effect is really good against Doomsday, but you can't board in regular Blood Moon against Doomsday because it's way too slow. It'll never resolve. But if you can cavern 
you know, turn three Cavern Magus, and they don't see it coming, they might just die. Um, you know, it has text against, like, Reclaimer Elves, whereas Blood Moon, like, it's okay. But not adding to the board means that it can just be, like, a purely dead card some of the times, some of the time, where at least Magus will always have relevant text to some degree. Um, by virtue of having power and toughness. Uh, Hogak is another one where uh, Blood Moon... That's like a big one, actually, where like Blood Moon gets Force of Vigored. Magus doesn't. They don't play that much other removal. Like They can decay, but they're using decays on other things. And if you force them to decay your Magus instead of like a Pile Driver or you know, a Lackey or Spore Chief, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, oops. Well... I am going to call it there. Yeah, they only decay the Magus if they hold up mana, and Hagak does, doesn't really hold up mana that often, right? Especially not against a Wasteland port deck. So they're usually doing stuff in their upkeep or their main phase or not at all, unless they're flooding. GG's indeed. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, short stream, but I don't want to uh, taunt the internet gods anymore. <laughs> than I already am by continuing to stream after having to restart the router. Um, I'm glad I got to keep streaming to finish the league. That was a very satisfying finish. Very clean. Uh, let's, let's, let's send you guys over to someone else. Legacy Pit. I'm going to send you over to you guys Pit. Yeah. All right. As always, be sure to check out the Patreon. Patreon's been blowing up lately. Uh, Patreon's been phenomenal. The support has been just like unreal. Unreal. Like, thank you, everyone who has signed up. Uh, I've gotten a really, really lot of positive feedback that like made my day. Like, Patreon stuff, really, really happy with it. And, um, Really happy people are enjoying it and it's helping them get you know get better at the deck. Um <laughs> Hey Dimorius, thanks for Twitch Prime sub. Um check out the YouTube channel. Uh as long as I'll probably have to like edit these together in an editing program, which will probably be a pain and like it might be skippy around, but I do want to get these games onto YouTube because they were pretty sick. Um really good indications of like why I love this particular iteration of classic goblins the triple war chiefs have been excellent it's like crazy how good they've been um so all that being said it's a nearest paper legacy and as always you can reach me follow me on twitter and you can reach me in the goblins discord or through the patreon as well all right catch y'all on sunday most likely